Dit is Papa Alfa 0 Eco Tango Eco voor de Daily Minutes met een nieuwsupdate voor vandaag 4 juni 2016. Dit is het bulletin van zaterdag. This bulletin will be in English, but we start in Dutch. Gisteren na de uitzending had ik met PNL EEU over de zijsnelheid van de kool uh, van de uitzending. Dit blijkt met de gebruikte meetmethode een paar procent, maar echt heel weinig meer te zijn dan 30 woorden per minuut. Een uitleg met beeld en geluid is te vinden op www.pnl.nl. Het SSTV-plaatje vandaag is een parodie. Hij is extra groot in PD120, zodat alles in de afbeelding hopelijk goed te lezen is. Today as usual, we will start with the propagation bulletin of the RSTB. We will also have an SSTV image at the end of the bulletin, which will be in PD120 this time. Hello, this is Mike Marsh, G1IAR, and welcome to the TX Talk podcast of the GB2RS National News. And now the radio propagation report compiled by G0KYA, G3YLA and G4BAO on Friday the 3rd of June. The solar flux index declined further this week to the mid-80s. A quick look at an image of the sun from the Solar Dynamics Observatory on solarham.net shows why. On Thursday, two sunspot groups were rotating out of sight on the sun's limb, leaving a pretty blank disk, and as a result, NOAA predicts the solar flux index will diminish to around 75 to 80 for the whole of next week. This week has been quieter geomagnetically, with a maximum K index of 3 and a low of 1. As we mentioned in the last report, this week may start off very unsettled, with a K index up to 5 this weekend due to the geoeffective reoccurring coronal hole on the sun's surface. After a respite midweek, next weekend may also become unsettled. The highlight this week has been a prolonged sporadic E opening on the upper HF bands and these have brought lengthy short skip openings on 20 metres and upwards and hopefully will continue. Rare but relatively local, DX has included both Monaco and San Marino on 10 metres. Now, if you're fairly new to the hobby, take a look around 28.500 MHz for signals around mid-morning time, mid to late afternoon and early evening. Also, take a listen out for FM signals around 29.600 MHz and beacon hunters should look between 28.125 and 28.325 MHz. And now the VHF and up propagation news. Well, the weather pattern is fairly slow moving, and although we start with high pressure, this will get displaced to the east. This could still provide some tropo from northern Britain across to southern Scandinavia, and low pressure approaching from the Atlantic will introduce some showery weather with warmer and more humid southerly winds. Now, if these showers are heavy and thundery, they could produce good rain scatter on the gigahertz bands. As we said earlier, we've had a good start this year for sporadic E with many days of European sporadic E on 50 megs upwards to 144 MHz. Tea time on the 30th produced strong 144 MHz signals from Yankee Uniform 1 Echo Victor and some others too, copied from East Anglia right across over to West Wales and the Isle of Man. Disturbed weather patterns with strong jet streams are what is required for sporadic E, but the next week is looking quieter as the jet stream migrates to the northern parts of Europe. This could mean paths to Scandinavia more often than southern Europe as in recent weeks. Now if you do one thing, check the VHF bands for sporadic E around tea time, maybe just before eating, and you'll catch pretty much most of what develops. With high declination, the moon is favourably placed for EME with low losses early in the week. And that's all for this week from the Propagation Team. Amateurs are advised that updates to a number of band plans are now in effect in the UK and across IARU Region 1 as of the 1st of June. The changes to 80 metres, 30 metres and VHF provide for greater flexibility for narrowband digital modes. The new version also includes some editorial updates in other bands and full details can be found on the RSGB website at rsgb.org slash main slash operating slash band hyphen plans.
On the 9th of June, a team from High Impact, including DRM61, Mark, Mike Whiskey One, Mike Delta Hotel, will be launching a high altitude balloon from a site in Welshpool. It will carry a Habduino as part of a project with schools in the area, and Mark is asking all amateurs and us WLs if they would help track this flight and feed the data back into Habitat, the web based Hab tracker which you could check out at tracker.habhub.org. The launch will take place around 11.30 a.m. and the Habduino will be transmitting on 434.650 MHz RTTY 50 board 425 Hz shift 7 data bits no parity 2 stop bits and the call time to look for is Barnaby. If you weren't able to visit the RSGB convention in 2015, some of the lectures were recorded and are being made available to members via the RSGB website. Go check out rsgb.org slash video and click the RSGB 2015 convention link. In 2016, the convention is looking forward to welcoming John Rogers, that's Mike Zero, Juliet Alpha Victor, who will speak about diagnosing and reporting RFI problems. He'll also outline the new EMC assisted diagnosis and reporting process and will explain what is needed for Ofcom to consider investigating RFI cases. Booking information can be found at rsgb.org slash convention, where you can also click on the convention logo to book in. A two-metre signal from the UK was heard across the Atlantic on the 2nd of May. It had been reflected off the structure of the International Space Station. Following two weeks of preparation, Tim, Golf 4 Lima Oscar Hotel in Cornwall and Roger, Victor Echo 1 Sierra Kilo Yankee in Nova Scotia attempted an FSK 441 contact. With a mutual window of less than one minute, Victor Echo 1 Sierra Kilo Yankee was able to copy Golf 4 Lima Oscar Hotel at a distance of 4,000 441 kilometers. This was the first signal received via ISS bounce from Europe to North America and the first intentional signal heard via ISS reflection in any direction across the North or the South Atlantic. Thanks to the Brazilian Amateur Radio League, that's Labra, radio amateurs who visit Brazil for the 2016 Rio Olympic Games will be able to get on the air easily. During August and September, any foreign amateur will be able to operate in Brazil regardless of whether there's a reciprocal agreement in place. No IARP or CEPT license is necessary and no fees are required. You just need to send a scan of your passport identification pages and your license and a list of the cities you intend to operate in and when, plus an email address to executiva at labra.org.br That's executiva at labra, L-A-B-R-E, dot org, dot br. The MSF 60 kHz time and frequency signal from the Anthorn radio station will be shut down on the 9th of June from 10 in the morning till 2 in the afternoon. The interruption to the transmission is required to allow maintenance work to be carried out in safety. More details are viewable online at npl.co.uk forward slash time. Registration is open for the third International Air Ambulance Activity, a nine-day special event. The 2016 dates are the 19th to the 27th of September and to register your station go to tinyurl.com forward slash 2016 hyphen IAW. The Marine Boy Zulu Lima 1 Sierra India X-Ray, that's ZL16, with its low-powered transmission on the 30 metres band, is now floating around the Pacific Ocean. Bob, Zulu Lima 1 Romeo Sierra, reports that the solar-powered boy is transmitting the weak signal WSPR and JT9 modes on the 30 metre band. 
The yacht Windflower launched the buoy in the middle of the South Pacific Ocean, with its last location being south of Fiji and Tonga. Data sent hourly shows the buoy travelling at around 1.8 kilometres per hour in a north-northeast direction, and more details including tracking progress being mapped are all available online at qsl.net forward slash Zulu Lima 1 Romeo Sierra forward slash Ocean Floater, all one word, dot html. Daily Minutes zijn dagelijks om 1900 uur te beluisteren op PI2 NOS en ochtends om half elf. Aanvullende informatie bij de uitzendingen is te vinden op www.pa0ete.nl. Wil verder gerust je tips, commentaar en desnoods priet praten naar xapenstaartjexdv.me. Heb je zin in koffie voor de Echelink gebruikers? Ja, lekker. Oké, okay, ga jij maar even zetten dan.